Switching gears a bit, a Minneapolis teen awarded a $25,000 scholarship for software to combat AI-generated images. This young man is so impressive. Joining us now is Huxley Westermeyer, 17-year-old from Minneapolis, attending St. Paul Academy and Summit School. Congratulations on this big scholarship. Uh, tell us about your software and your, your goal behind it. Yeah, sure. So let's say that you're, you're on the internet. You're on a news site and you come across a news article, something feels a bit off. You might see an image that looks, it looks pretty real, right? There's no like five fingers, it doesn't look like an AI image, but you see that there's something maybe off about it, something doesn't add up. Mm -hmm. What you could do is you could take that image and you could run it through the software that I developed, I'm calling it Integrity, and it would tell you with 95% accuracy if that image is real, if you took it on a real camera, if it was generated by AI generation software, or if it was manipulated by AI tools in any way. And you have a little bit of a guessing game for me. Can I we do, show that image on the screen that kind of gives us a little bit more of an idea of what exactly you're talking about? I think we have that image that we're going to pull up so you can kind of describe the different, um, they're working on that. Okay, here it is. Yeah, sure. So, so what three, am I looking at? Three of these images were generated by AI software. In one of them, I took on my personal smartphone. So the guessing game here is can you figure out which one is real and which three are AI? Uh, I'm going to say bottom... Phones are so fancy now. Bottom yeah, right? Is bottom that, right? That the one? So that's the funny thing. Everyone that I've talked to always says bottom right. It's actually the bottom left one. It's really? the real phone image. Okay, and so the others are all AI all generated. All AI generated. So that's just an example of what the, yeah. your technology, what your software mm -hmm. could do. How did you get the idea? Why did the, why was this something that you became passionate about and you wanted to, to focus on? Yeah, so last year, you know, I was seeing, especially during like July as the election buildup, I was seeing a lot of misinformation, just fake images kind of flooding my social media feed. And then later in the fall, my aunt, she lives in Asheville, North Carolina. She was hit really hard by Hurricane Helene. Mm -hmm. And the problem there was I was seeing all these images of you know like children on roofs puppies in boats that were going nowhere and they were all AI generated but you know people were donating to charities based on these images and there were a lot of misinformation lots of scams that were popping up and I just wanted to do something to help combat that Wow and you are obviously getting international attention now now you're going to tell us about you're going to Singapore to present mm -hmm. Yeah, this so, software? so the Association for the Advancement of Artificial Intelligence actually reached out to me a couple weeks ago and they told me they want to fly me out to Singapore so I can compete in the undergraduate consortium and basically present my work at the largest 2026 International AI Convention. And you're 17 turning 18 that yeah, week I'll be while 18 you're in, in Singapore, which is My more than I could ever wish for. And then after that, you're going to Taiwan. Tell us about that ticket yeah, competition. Yes, so I am one of two students that was chosen to represent the U.S. at the Taiwan International Science Fair in 2026. I won that at the International Science and Engineering Fair in May this year. So that's exciting too. Well, please keep us posted. My yeah. goodness, I mean, are are you? How long did this all take? When did you start this? You're only 17 years old. That's and AI point, hasn't yeah. been around for that long. That's a good point. I think that part of the challenge behind my project was figuring out specific features and finding a clever algorithm that could represent AI in, a, in this field where it's constantly changing every day. So like for example, the existing AI detectors, they work by training a machine learning module on like 100,000 different AI images. The problem with that is if something new comes out tomorrow, it hasn't seen enough examples from that to be accurate. And so what I did is I'm looking for indicators of authenticity, like a fingerprint of authenticity in a real photo. Photograph. And so what that means is, even if a new AI tool comes out tomorrow that's really impressive, because it doesn't have that fingerprint, it will still be detected as artificial. Wow, there is so much for all of us to mm -hmm. learn as AI. I mean, it's, it's a part of our daily lives. It's it's, it is part of the future, whether people are fans of it or not. So to true. help and be on the side of navigating it and mm -hmm. uh, exploring the technology. So yeah. best of luck. Thank you very much. Congrats so again. Much. And yeah. keep us posted on Singapore and Taiwan. Yes, absolutely will. Thank <laughs> you so much. Huxley Westermeyer, remember that? name because uh, you're making a difference in this technology world. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Jared